How are we looking here? Look as good. Looking great. Hey everybody, Josh McFadden here, and this is your intro to backcountry camping in Manitoba. So I've got my buddy Paul with me. Make a walking stick. But better yet, make a spear-tipped walking stick. Paul is the, I can't totally see what he's doing back there, but I feel some wobbling going on. Paul is a, uh, he's a seasoned backcountry camper, and I thought it was the best, uh, or I thought that he would be the best person to bring along to show all of you guys how to maybe escape some of the more popular campgrounds and venture your way into the backcountry a little bit. Now, since this is an introduction, um, we're not going all the way into the backcountry. Yeah, I hope you enjoy this session, and this is just all about the intro to the backcountry in Manitoba. curious as to what backcountry camping is like and what it looks like and you know hopping in a canoe and traveling long amounts of ways and portaging and doing all that stuff if that looks too complicated well this is a super non-complicated way to do it so what they have here at Tulabi Falls and there's a few amazing campgrounds in the province that have these backcountry campsites set up for you but the one at Tulabi Falls here is just off of the regular campsite and it's just a small hike through the woods or you can actually take a canoe and access it through the water which we did and dart over to the campsite and um, you have to pay for them like other campsites but one of the cool things is that you have this beautiful forested area all to yourself and maybe you don't have the electricity and maybe you don't have the plumbing like you're used to at all of the other you know comp campgrounds with all of the amenities but this is the intro to that backcountry adventure so you're completely surrounded by forest there's a massive rock wall kind of behind me here which is amazing and they have given you a few of the comforts of home located right here so first of all you've got lakefront property right behind us here we've got the fire pit we're just in the middle of getting the fire pit going so we can make some food and set up our tent on this big flat area that you see back over here where paul is but we've got a porta crapper right here so if you need to go to the bathroom you don't have to worry about uh finding a spot in the woods if that makes you uncomfortable. This is a pretty comfortable way to use the bathroom. And what they also have here is this massive bear-proof bin. So inside this bin here, if you take a look. Oh, there's chains. Okay, so all you gotta do is unlock it. Go inside. That's what makes it bear-proof. It's also Josh-proof apparently. Undo those locks and away you go. So you've got this cool dry storage. We've got some potato chips and some coffee and there's some actually paper in there um, to help you start your fire which is amazing I wouldn't count on the paper being there but today it's there which is nice somebody left that for us and this is basically it so hike to paddle to beautiful campground Tulabi uh, the Tulabi Falls campground is just over yonder here so if you want if you want to feel safe and you need to go you know boogie over somewhere else to grab a hot shower at some point or you need some electricity you can always go over there but this is an amazing way to experience that with your vehicle fairly close by and uh, you're not in the middle, the absolute middle of nowhere. You're just kind of in the middle of nowhere. So we are going to get to some cooking. What we have going on is um, kind of a few unique dishes and we've got dinner going on right now with a bit of dessert that's coming later. And tomorrow we have some pretty cool stuff in the works as well. So right now it is fire duty. We need a fire to cook and we're gonna show you all of the cooking that's going down. Yeah. And we also have to set up our tent and we're just gonna, yeah, get into it right now. So food, fire, tent, it's all coming up right now. So what I'm gonna be doing is 
Well, I'll start with this. I kind of hate it when something like a dish is called like a poor man something or lazy man something because I don't believe in lazy man food. I believe in just like cooking food and having a good time doing it. But this kind of is a bit of a lazy man dish because we're camping in the middle of the woods. So I am doing a beef wellington. Um, I do not have a filet. I did not bring a filet with us, but I've got some ground beef. So we're cooking down that ground beef and that ground beef is getting sauteed with some fresh herbs, a little bit of onion, some garlic. I have a little bit of beef stock that will go in there too to create a bit of a sauce. And once that's all cooked down looking pretty, we'll probably toss in a little bit of fresh parsley, which will make it taste fantastic. And after that point, we will stuff it inside some pastry shells. And uh, the pastry that I've got is a puff pastry. And we've got to be a little bit careful with the puff pastry because we don't want to burn. And the cook time is, we, we want to cook the pastry through, but we want to do it in a fashion that is not super long so that we don't burn the pastry. So we want to kind of cook it as fast as we can. So that's why we're going to cook all the ingredients, uh, the meat ingredients first, stuff it, and then all we're doing is warming up the pastry at that point. So that pastry is going to go inside of this little fella right here. So the pastry will go in the bottom of there, we'll line it. We'll start putting uh, our meat ingredients in there, fold the pastry back on top. You're gonna to see that shortly and then it just goes over the fire until it's done. Um, it's basically gonna create a bit of an oven inside there uh, and, and heat up the top, heat up the bottom and get a nice crust going. So we'll take a few peaks as it cooks. It might take a little bit longer than expected. Some of the firewood here is a little bit wet, but we've got a decent fire going. Um, and yeah, let's get cooking. <laughs> Definitely flaky and hot. You can taste the beautiful herbs seasoned so perfectly. Love it. Mm. I gotta get some. All right, guys, it is the end of the stay for us at the backcountry campsites off of Tulabi and uh, in the beautiful Nopaming Park here. And we are just packing up our canoe and we are heading, heading back to mainland here. So there's Paul getting the canoe ready. And uh, if I could say anything guys, like this is an amazing way again to just get into the back country. It's a super um, accessible way to do so. And just make sure you have the right tools. Don't forget to bring your toilet paper and just get out there and keep exploring this beautiful province of Manitoba. Best country is the back country. Beautiful.